On the build show today, Jordan made me an ice shotgun. <laughs> We're gonna test it on some roof materials. Let's get going. On the build show today, we're gonna to be doing some hail testing. You know, when hail comes through Texas, roofs are replaced right and left because asphalt is not particularly resistant to hail. So we wanted to kind of backyard test this. Jordan made us an ice gun that shoots some pretty serious ice. In fact, we tested it on this piece of tempered hardboard. This is just eighth inch tempered hardboard. We use it all the time for floor protection. And look what we did, we actually blew a hole through that. So we've got some serious power here. I have no idea how this relates to the ASTM testing. Of course, you can get a couple different classes of hail resistance, class one, which is the lightest, all the way up to class four, which is the best. And if you've seen our videos, you know we like metal roofing, we like tile, we like slate. Those are really long lasting roofs. We try to avoid typically asphalt shingles, but I'm curious what a couple of those will look like. Okay, first up, we've got a traditional three-tab shingle. This is just a cheap 15-year shingle. Now, we've nailed these up on a backer of some 5 8 zip sheathing. This is what you traditionally use for a roof. This has the brown bonded coat right from Huber, and that's what we're using for underlayment. We've marked an X marks the spot. Jordan, you ready to uh, ready to rock fire and roll. the big boy? I'm going to man the uh, slow-mo camera, so give me a second here to get set up, Jordan. Okay, man. First roofing. Let's make it a good one. All right. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Woo! What do we have here? Interesting. It's like a bunch of ice landed there, <laughs> but really no damage. That's interesting. I thought we'd have a lot more. Well, maybe we have, I don't know. Doesn't look like we have a lot of damage there, Jordan. I think it it, uh, it seems like it took that pretty well. Surprising. I'll tell you what, let's load this up a second time. Yep. And instead of using the cubed ice that we got in the bag. Go try the zero degree. Which is 30-ish degrees. Let's go grab some ice out of our right. freezer in the shop. So hang on, we're gonna reload this again. Okay, y'all, we reloaded and now Jordan's got on here some freezer ice. I'm curious to see if we're gonna get any different damage. We're shooting up on the tall spot. Let me get started on this camera. Three, two, one. <laughs> that never gets old. Yeah, we just launched that the is... shingle at least. Maybe that's not super accurate because it was a top one. Yeah, but it's... Was, oh yeah, we got shingle damage though. Yeah. You can definitely see that. Check this out too, y'all. This is from the first one. I couldn't see this because of the ice that was built up, but we actually have some pretty good damage there. Look at that. It you know, ripped it. It ripped it, and, and I can see daylight through there. You can see all the fiberglass from those shingles right there. So if, if we can get some zoom in on there. So you're about you're about an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just means that's the size of the ice cube, but still. But look at that. You can actually see that physical damage. The fiberglass there. Right there. You can see the fiberglass. I'll point with my knife. Look at that, you can see all that fiberglass. So this would leak probably within some period of time. And certainly this would qualify for a roof replacement from a, an insurance company. When this dries here, I'm curious, oh yeah, we can totally see that, look at that. This shingle got destroyed right here on this bottom section. So this roof's goner. You get hit with that kind of hail, this one's, this one's, this one's dead. This asphalt is not gonna make it. Look at that, you can see the, uh, yeah, the, see the fiberglass right there? So the way the way they make this is there's a fiberglass mat that holds all this asphalt together and then the rocks put it on top. Yep. All right, let's reload That's the cool. test with, remember this is the cheap roof. This is the 15 year shingle roof. I think on this test anyways, we can say this one definitely needs replaced after this hailstorm came through. <laughs> hailstorm, Jordan. That was a hail of a hailstorm. <laughs> that was a hailstorm. <laughs> Let's reload it with the with the better shingle. All right. Yep. Okay, so we've got that 5 8 zip underlayment on here. I think that's a good underlayment for this test because ultimately if these roofs were destroyed by hail, we'd want that fully adhered underlayment. And by having that zip, which has the underlayment fully adhered to the sheathing and then those seams taped, if these shingles actually blew off of the windstorm, 
you're gonna still maintain a waterproof house even though your shingles may be torn off. So let's reload the test here and see how we do. I think we said this before, but we're putting, you know, 10-ish cubes in there. This is party ice. This is the kind where they drill the center. And we bought this all this morning. We bought like 50 pounds. So it should be still pretty cold in that Yeti cooler, even though we've been kind of messing with this all day. I'm going to give you an X2 a hit here, Jordan. Let's go on the bottom again this time. Okay, test two. Architectural shingles, a 30-year shingle. This one does have a hail rating. Let's see how it does, Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Three, two, one. Right on the bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Here's the wadding, too, by the way. That's, that's what actually shoots the ice out. Let's have a look. I can't point at anything without actually using my knife to point out, so let's see what we got here. See if we can take a little of that off. Oh yeah, look at that shingle damage. Yeah. You can see it's it's dented pretty good. But is it through? Because the last one you could see the fiberglass poking through. I'm sticking my hand back there and I can feel the indention. But I don't see any fiberglass. I don't fiberglass. think it's actually come through though. I don't see any fiberglass. Maybe a little bit here. I mean, obviously, if that was your roof, that's going to get replaced. But yeah, I don't. You think can see an improvement between. Yeah, you can definitely see the improvement. And my assumption, Jordan, is because it's a thicker shingle, you've got a thicker fiberglass mat, you've got more aggregate. It's meant to last longer against the UV rays, and that's probably how they get the impact resistance. Yeah. Is there's some ability for that to have some absorption as that comes in there. All right, next up is uh, slate. Slate. All right, you want to do slate before metal? Let's do metal first. Let's do metal first. Right. Let's do metal first. Next sample is 24 gauge metal. Um, this is nothing special. This is just steel that has a galvalume coating on it. But this is by far my favorite roof for Texas. And I've got a client that uh, has taken at least two, maybe even three hailstorms with a metal roof almost identical to this on his house. And he calls that house the SS Reisinger. It's done really, really well against hail in the past, in the real world. So let's see how this does against the Jordan Hail gun. <laughs> see how it does in make-believe world of 100 mile an hour hail. <laughs> All right, are you on over there? Okay, Jordan. All right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I expected, I expected more damage than that. There is a small dent, but there is nothing to speak of. <laughs> I can tell you what, that roof is not leaking, that's for sure. No. There may be some, I mean, if this really was a hailstorm. And you had it over the whole thing. And you thing, had it over the whole thing, maybe you could see, see some, some cosmetic, cosmetic damage. But this honestly looks really similar to what I would have expected. That that roof that I was telling you about, this actually the first house I built in Austin. That roof got put on almost 13 years ago now. It's taken two or three hailstorms, and that's the kind of stuff that maybe you can see it. And I'll tell you, from the ground, you're not going to see that at all. You're not going to see that at all. It's got to be a serious hailstorm before you're going to really dent. And you got you got edge. a little bit of a spring there too, just a natural resilience too because yeah. of this this extra channeling that they put into the resist the oil, the, the oil canning, yep. you have a little bit of spring there, so it's not just all, wow. That's that a, was that's cool. a pretty good result. I that think the metal cool. did real well. All right, next up. I'm going to need your help on this. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you got it. This one, this one's heavy as heck, man. Oh, yeah. Last one. Oh, I need to mark this one, too. It's on the suppressor reset. This one, up. Oh. Okay, last roof here. This is a slate roof. I mean, it, this is by far the most expensive roof here. More than double, honestly, the cost of anything else. Maybe even triple the cost. Beautiful roof, You're gonna last for maybe 100 years or more. But how well does it do against hail? You know, you typically don't see these on southern roofs, you see these on northern roofs. So they're not necessarily getting the kind of hail like we do here in the south. 
Jordan, let's test it, shall let's we? Test it. Okay. Let me get my camera Slate. set up. Slate. Test one. You're going for the uh, going X for the in the X. corner there. You ready? Okay, Jordan, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Did we get any damage over here? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we did. Actually, <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Is it possible that nail was up a little bit? I, th I think it just drove it right back into. I think so too. It sh sheared it up here at these nails that are holding wow. it on, the two nail holes. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think we need to run that test again. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was an anomaly or. <laughs> I expected this to be like bomber, no, no problem whatsoever, and we actually sheared it off. And you can see it's got some serious damage to that as well. Now, Let's do it again. Now, honestly, though, you could fix this roof pretty easily if you got a couple patches, right? Because you can you can actually stick a tool up there that will shear the nail and put a new one on. And then and then again, if your if your roof gets hit with the cannon. You know, yeah. you might you might have you might have a problem. <laughs> of course, this isn't exactly a rear wheel test, but it is fun to see. We're gonna reload this. We're back in a second. All right, we're reloaded. Take two. I'm curious if that was an anomaly on the slate because we really absolutely destroyed that slate on take one. So let's try it again, Jordan. <laughs> see if we get a similar or a totally different result. All right. Okay, I got the slow mo camera going. One, two, three. <laughs> Super fun. Oh, we, we cracked the bottom of this guy, actually. Look at that, we cracked the... That, uh, yeah, that is. This this corner right here cracked off. It's, yeah, so we lost a little bit of this slate right here. In fact, there's a piece of it right there. But this one seems solid like it wasn't affected, like we did last time. Interesting. That, that right there, you can see right where it hit. Yeah, you can see right where that hit. All right, Jordan, let's talk uh, takeaways here. What do you think? What are the big takeaways on this test? Well, on this roof, obviously, we're hitting it with an air cannon. Yeah. Or a, an ice cannon. We're not getting an actual hell storm. Um, so whether that first one breaking is realistic or not, I don't know. But you can tell the difference between the metal and the asphalt shingles for yes. sure, night and day. Yep, for sure. Guys, we purposely did not call out any manufacturers. We're not giving you any links to any of these things that we used. This is not a real test. This is not intended to take any takeaway other than this was fun and interesting to see. Although I think the takeaway for me is that yes, asphalt shingles when a hailstorm comes through get replaced for a reason because they can get damaged and they're more sensitive. But interestingly enough, even a really expensive roof could yep. need to be replaced or could have some at least replacement shingles when a hailstorm comes through. And even metal though could need to be replaced. Especially if, it if it's things. a high end home with cosmetic issues being priority. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And it'd be interesting to know maybe in a future video if styrations versus flat panels, if you can see more damage on a flat panel metal than a styration. Yeah. Comment below if you want us to run this again, if you have any comments about how we ran it or some ideas for another future way to use the ice shotgun that Jordan made. And speaking of that, by the way, Jordan's got a video on his channel. I'll put a link in the description below on how to build that cannon so you can test this yourself. But please be safe out there, guys. Wear your eye protection. Don't have the kids around while you do this. <laughs> we did this at the office with nobody around, so we, we tried to do this as safely as possible. Big thanks, by the way, to uh, to these guys. Dry Deck uh, sponsored us with all these really cool jackets for both Jordan and the team and I. There'll be a link in the description to those guys. They actually are giving 15% off to all our Build Show fans. The code is Reisinger Build. There'll be a link to their site below. They've got some really cool stuff like these acceleration jackets we wear. These are like 110, 105 bucks, minus 15% off, and we get those logoed at a local shop. So to get your, your logo on a jacket for 100 bucks, not a bad deal. Not bad. And last takeaway, I do want to also thank Huber, which is one of our show sponsors that makes Zip. And the Zip panels, I think, is also a big takeaway on today's video that, look, behind these, 
that zip with a fully taped seam on there, even if you got water through there, you're gonna have a house that's not gonna get damaged if shingles got blown off or torn off in some terrible storms. So that's a great product to be using on houses in storm prone areas. Guys, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.